And Vision hasn't taken his blue buff yet. Spots it. Is on top of a ward, though. Could get collapsed upon. Yeah, this would be very dangerous for, for Sven Scaren, but Hauntzer calls me It's still going to be dangerous. Okay, dodge with the first Prazer, but now getting slowed down by Akuma. Then flash that's knock up. That's not enough life for Sven Scaren. First blood comes through for Ambition. Nicely played stop at the counter jungle. And Jad, this exactly echoes the point you were making earlier, how it's so important to have pushing lanes, because in between pushing lanes, you can invade. And right now, they Hauntzer may him. not be safe. He's yep. so low. 300 HP, Ambition. There's the knockup. He pulls Zagro. Kubin to follow up. The stun's gonna get him to trade the kill, but it's still advantage. Samsung Galaxy 2 to 1 with assists on both kills. Exactly. It's a big. Bolt to zone you out. Maybe kill your pink ward. That kind of stuff is working out. Biofrost looking for a trade on a core JJ. Plenty of damage onto the Tom Kinch. Then back onto Ruler. Nicely traded. Burns the exhaust. And Double Kiss rooted up now. Someone's gotta take the curtain call. Biofrost walking in a range. You can eat off the flash. The chop comes in. And a nice flash to get out of range. Core JJ overextended. What an play by TSM. Ruler forced to flash away, and now Bjergsen running for his life. Ambition looking for the knockup, can't quite get it, and TSM finally get a kill answered. Yeah, and a little bit strange by TSM, actually. Hauntzer could have stayed on the Equalizer and revived, but he ran off of it and didn't revive. Fight in the mid lane with two soul landers from TSM gone. Spence going quite low, pops the ulti late. He's running out of health, the chase down, and a nice shot from Ruler. Now with the Biofrost, one more shot, will kill him! And Doublet does not even block the shot, died to crown anyway. Control of the mid lane, a two for zero to Samsung, and that's going to be a very low, almost dead turret. Hoping to maybe get some control back. Looking at the mid lane, they've got the inside track, actually. And if they play it right, they can make this happen now. Bjergsen is the one attack, getting away from the Equalizer. The chase on out of Biofrost is Kube. That's the flash forced out. Now here's the teleport to join, and Hotzer in the back line, but gets exhausted. How much is the follow-up damage? Perfect shield from Core JJ. That's gonna be Kube burning down. The chase in, and Double gets one. He gets two. He's looking for three, and Crown will keep his kingdom for now, but TSM with the three for zero. Double if. Oh! for the play, turns right back around on him. Samsung saving it with the big burst out of the mid lane. Trying to double teleport into this one because they have a temporary 5v4. They've got to try. Here they are. Bjergsen's in with this, and TSM would love a 5v4 here. We'll see if it can happen. Sven Skirin, plenty of XP. Hans are looking for the flank. This could be the fight that turns TSM back in on this one. Kube is not even alive yet. Again, the 5v4. TSM need this to go right because they are losing their base to minions as we speak. This is the type of play that can go down to a steal attempt, and there's no, nothing you can do to stop it. 2,000 HP left on the Elder Dragon. Hawks are still waiting for the flank play, looking for the damage, and it's gonna be picked up by Ruler from Samsung Galaxy, but the fight begins anyway. Ruler down to half, Core JJ a bit low. Not gonna land here. Great, but Kube has joined the fight, and suddenly it's going pear shape for TSM. Hawks are forced away. They just have not found the engage. They never pulled the trigger on the fight, and Samsung Galaxy walk away with the buff. There was so much zone at the start from that perceived cannon flank from Hansa, but he would never find a moment to pull the trigger. And right now, Galaxy is in the base. Super Galaxy Kube looking for this one, knocking down the first of the turrets, but no, Hauser gonna trade the kill on that one, 5v4, and ooh, that's Guardian Angel down for Court JJ, but the turrets are dead, the inhibitors as well, Dublift gonna lose his life with impeccably bad timing as the Chrono Shift wore off, and it's now gonna be the Nexus, it's gonna be the game, and Samsung Galaxy gets revenge on TSM and holds on to first place for now. I still love you. He went for the right. heal, maybe the Mata survives randomly, and suddenly nobody dies. Three-man roam coming up to the top side here, though. They're trying to poke him down as much as possible. And the Malzahar's here without a minion wave, so yeah. this should be a brute force play. They may end up either trading the mid turret or giving time for RNG to defend. Several turrets at half HP, both in the mid and top lane. Splice gonna cash in with the top lane pressure. There is Realmwar plus close. Olaf though yep. coming on too. They can make it in right Good now. Juke away from Lufer. The stun's gonna land a bit of CC, but they want to kill off him and the turret. First turret goes through to Splice. Now Lufer is low, and they're gonna kill him off. It's one for zero. Emblex G burning down. The Void Link's on the chase. Will they oh. knock out Olaf? And yes, a double kill for Senkux. They got Lufer. They got the turret. The Realmwar was late, and the Malefic Visions bounced, I think, from Looper onto MLXG, which prompted the Voilet steroid, and then they're auto the down on the target. Now Mana oh. gets hit. Oh, this is a no bit risky, though. Big going to run low on HP, but the shots are coming through. He's got one more bullet in the chamber. Uzi's going to block it. Oh, the bounce comes through. Can he get oh, the The grid, he's got no HP, but Uzi oh. gets the end play, and Mickey X gets him back. The Swag Braum, the Splice logo, the duo kill for Splice. Splice, Splice. We're surprised that it was just Looper coming out there. Oh, the stun of the he's dead. 
Nicely played. He was on a ward. What a setup. Custom two flashes though, so the trade for support has to be worth it for the Baron here because they expended both flashes Custom's on the lives. Yeah, and Trashy can t or Wonder can teleport in in 10 seconds, so it will be yeah. a 5v3 at the Baron if they wait the five seconds. RNG is going to want to fight this. It's got a burn it. Play by Splice. Now, can they control this properly? Looking to finish down on Baron. They get that pickup. Now they're re engaged. Stun onto Looper. More CC, but no Brom Q land. So Looper able to walk away, but they get the suppression. He's going to burn down. A slow and a Uzi. The Uzi. The root. That's going to be a dead Caitlyn. A double kill for Kami. And down the mid lane they go. Even when it's inadvisable, RNG's always going to try and fight you. And Splice used that to the utmost advantage. They had the smite secure, they had the confidence, and then they land all the skill shots for the fight. Amidst cheers of let's go Splice from the crowd here in San Francisco. Mid lane inhibitor is down. Still 30 seconds of five versus three with a Baron buff looking for the Nexus turret. The Cocoon not quite gonna land. Pushing back down, MLXG gonna get chomped down. Five versus two now, looking for their first win of Worlds and the miracle run to make the quarterfinals. The death timers are still quite long for Another RNG. And they get dead. Mata again! Shao, who is zoned off the left hand side. Shane Slow gets the root, runs away. That doesn't matter though. There's a new minion wave down to the Nexus turrets, and that's going to be their first win of Worlds. Splice knocked down. Royal never give up. Two more to go. Why did it have to be snakes? The next minute and a half of lane control, and maybe he can join Svenskar, but that's gonna be an engage by Trashy, getting plenty of damage down. 200 HP left on the Rek'Sai, has to flash, but Trashy could join up soon. He has flash of himself, and the heal's not gonna come down in time. First blood, but it's an exhaust into a stun, into a very dead Elise, and down the water spout she goes. TSM getting a kill back. Deal with a single Syndra, though. Mm -hmm. It's actually Nikki the land just slow on the fog and TSM really trying to get something trashy no flash. Slow one, slow two, slow three, four shots gonna land on a trashy, but now will he survive the encounter? A big knockup comes out of Biofrost, and that should be enough to knock down the Elise, but Repel's gonna buy a few more seconds, and the resnipe comes through, but it's too early. And here's the re-engage on the backside. They've picked off double lift. It's now a 4v4, and Hemo Plague is on. Senkux is poised to do so much damage here with help from one, and they've already picked up another. That's two to one in favor of Splice. Two to two, actually, they did pick off Mickey. That's still exactly the type of fight that Splice would want. It's messy, it's protracted, and then Sen Cooks can go in the back, get onto Jin, and get a kill. Such massive playmaking across the board from TSM, though. When the game was looking a little bit questionable, they make the big play. Splice trying to get something back. Splice looking for one themselves, but Sen Cooks stunned up, gonna lose out. Here comes Meganar. Pull away, yes, here comes Meganar, but it's not the most beautiful. It puts on a wonder, bit of damage. Look at the follow through, a bounce oh! for TSM. It's already two, and the turret nearly falls as well. And you have to put the word there. It's a bounce house right now, just chaining the CC over and over again on displays. And they got the slow. They got the chase then into Sen Cooks. Not going to get too much more, but the crowd practically on their feet now, cheering for TSM, hoping that the North American hopeful can continue their run for a quarterfinal spot. Earlier. Lightning a lot. Looking around the side. Wonder. Looking for the play into Bjergsen, but now a chase over Hanser. But he's going to try to pick up the mid laner. Can't even do it. The damage is too high. Hemo Plague not going to be enough either. And the shields came on enough. Now the retreat because Kabi wants in on the double lift. How's that duel going to go? Dodges one Q. Looks to dodge the next. One more shot. We'll kill on the flash. Oh, and double lift gets him inside the base. Doesn't take enough damage to die. And it just shows you what could have been if the Aurelia was a little bit more even with Bjergsen. That's exactly how Splice would want to fight in the late game. But they're going up against the Gargantuan. They won the summer split. They're hoping to do well at Worlds. Their third one in the group stage right now at the hands of Splice as they have one more match to play. And if they can win the next one, they will make top eight at Worlds. And very crucial that TSM was able to win this game after having a close loss against Samsung. Just yet. Uh, RNG under their towers. Got to be very, very careful. There he goes. Now who's got the passive up. It's a two on two battle. Ambition going to keep running. Call of the Void silences him. Here comes Mata. That chair tags. Ambition's running for his life. Ghost and Ragnarok is up. Flash forward. Oh. Now the cross was too late. Show who's caught. Here comes Core JJ. Show who's running for his life. The Malefic Visions burning down Ambition. A flash forward. The loss is out. It's crown with first blood. The final second of the Ragnarok actually breaks the tether, and that means that Xiao who comes up empty-handed.
you know, traps go down as well. Zara ultimate also does a lot to against again. Oh, here we go though, the dragon and they the... They want to fight, teleport into the bottom lane. Looper's coming from the lane. Marta misses yet another check. Cordio J sidesteps, teleport from Cubay. He should be able to cut off Looper. They've already killed him, LXG. The dragon's secured by Samsung and Looper's the next target. Looking at the mini map, Samsung want more. They're looking to run him down. Ambition doesn't get the undertow and Uzi. Forced to arcade Huge the team. way. Stand behind me, Marta yells. And RNG feel they can go forward. They're going to bite off more than they can chew. They've been routed. They've been killed. Uzi flashes for life. Cubase chasing for more. Xiaohu might be able to get away. Time winders up. Chrono breaks available. Phase dive. Cubase survives. Chrono oh. break backwards. Malefic Visions doesn't kill him. Samsung have everything. Samsung are absolutely routing RNG. Victor's gravity field and Samsung, they're daring RNG to come at them. Just keeping the chip away at this inner turret. Looking at MLXG. No flash available. Looking to tunnel under a Here galaxy member. Ruler flashes away. Still gets knocked up. Equalizer's not great. Strangle Thorns blocks off any further engage. Royal are running for their lives. Ambition takes a lot of damage. But look at Chao. He's being chunked down. Chaos Storm takes him out. Ace in the old fired. So that's a cooldown blown. Look oh. at the damage onto Uzi with that last tick. Samsung get two. Phase dive the tower. They'll get the tower as well. And as Rusty says, this team loves to roll the dice, but it just is not coming up their number today because Samsung too good. Kite back, disengage the fight, and then re-engage at the perfect moment. Timer that we're looking for. Keep your eye on the top screen. Samsung Galaxy sieging three lanes at once with Baron, and they're on track to beat that record if go. they can survive the fight. Strangle Thorns gonna knock up three. That's a dead Xiaohu. MLXG's gonna get killed. Here comes Cubay from the side. Not gonna get a stun up, but Ambition from behind. He's looking for Uzi. Oh. Ruler is gonna ace in the hole down. Looper gets the kill. Ambition is Ragnarokking and Ragnarolling, oh. but Uzi survives with his life. The base is opened up. The rest of Samsung Galaxy, they take down the top tower. They take down the top inhibitor. They still have a minute and a half to beat the record. They're setting their sights on Nexus. What does this tell you about the Samsung Galaxy lineup? Able to, able to do what RNG, what they did to Splice and destroy them. They are doing it. The Nexus turrets are falling. There's no support from Royal. Never give up. And Samsung Galaxy win the fastest game of Worlds 2016. Ambition's going to be able to steal away that Krag, and luckily for Trashy, he can move in very quickly. He's got Moby Boots again. Uh, Kobe, you were fairly uh, strongly opinionated it's about those, those Moby Boots earlier today. Well, let's hold on there and uh, wait for opinions, because we've got some action. That we do again. Celestial Expansion comes out. They've got to get through the Slicing Maelstrom. Oh, no. Uh, Cubase going to be able to turn this one around. Wonder uses the Chrono Break back, because Cubase still alive. Wonder forced to flash away, loses his life in a three-on-one. Cubase gets himself a kill. Or JJ's coming up from the river, but he doesn't have a lot of support just yet. He has no support. He to He's a level four. Trashy, a level four jungler, is <laughs> playing so aggressive. Trashy has simply no idea. And Trashy and Senkux are running for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean by playing. Look at oh, him. Okay, finally go. realize he's Cocoon? by himself. And like, wait a second. <laughs> we have been ahead. This is a level four time catch. Get off my ass. <laughs> the cojones on Core JJ. This should play so far forward. But when you're behind, you have to take the risky plays. But Kuve just outplays him. The flashback in outside of the stun range oh, absolutely funny. smashes Splice here. And uh, unfortunately, there's just when you're this far behind, there is no good play. You have to go for a trade. They go one for one, but they lose out on mid lane pressure. They lose out on dragon. They deserve to be here. We'll answer that question a little bit later as Ruler, it looks like he's going to get jumped on. Here comes Wanda. He phase dives onto Core JJ. Core JJ, no flash available. He's going to get cocooned down. This is a kill for Splice. Well played. Wanda bites off a little more than he can chew. Chrono breaks backwards, and here comes Ambition looking for more. Ambition's not going to get tagged by the Celestial Expansion, but Mickey does. Curtain Core won't kill anyone, but Senkex forced to flash away on the wrong side of the engage. Stuns up Crown on the way out, and it's a one-for-one -one trade. But they're so far ahead. Head, and they have so much pressure. This would be a miracle steal here for Splice. Well, not going to be a chance. Star Surge comes out. Senkex is even caught out. Trashy's now coming in from the river. Samson Galaxy a little bit splits up. 
Pulverize actually not going to hit anything because the TP was cancelled. Senkex looking to do some damage over the wall with that Celestial Expansion, but Trashy's already down. Curtain call. One, two, miss a third. It, that's a double kill for Ruler. Finally finding his targets. While well, all that's going on, Cuve doesn't care. He's taking a tower down bottom. Ash was blown early. Ambition and Courtier J are going to run for their lives. Devour buys some time for Ruler to put down the deeps. But he's running out of mana. Voice of Light does really nothing as Ruler starts to heal himself out. GLP sprays the confetti, but it's for Samsung Galaxy. Ambition's coming in from behind Here with Cuve. Slicing Maelstrom's available. Proto Belt forward. That's a three man stun. Cuve goes down but takes two with him. Mickey manages to survive for just a few seconds longer. The slow from time winder buys a couple extra. Chrono Break comes out for Wonder and oh, it's not oh, going to oh. be enough. That's the ace for Samsung Galaxy against Splice. And for the second time in two games, Samsung Galaxy has absolutely run over a team. Back to back shellackings and they're going to come out as seed one. <laughs> Nexus turret is going down. There's simply no support here for Splice. And Samsung Galaxy back to back. Phenomenal performances. They break their fastest record in the very next game. And Samsung Galaxy top Group D at Worlds 2016. Serviceable with a CS deficit. Lucian a bit more difficult to do the same. Cole has picked up her for double lift uh, once again, but this time around he's not ahead, he's far behind, and it's more of a reactive. Gonna try and cash in later. I don't expect them to take any fights. Look at the fight. river, look at the river, look at the river. The bubble catches Biofrost. Will they go Here over? comes the comment of legend. Biofrost puts up the unbreakable, oh. sidesteps the stun. Voice of Light doesn't kill him because Uzi does. First blood secured for Royal, never give up. Sven Scaren follows. Lordly, they're not gonna go down yet. That's a double kill for Uzi. Double lifts in trouble. Oh. Triple kill for Uzi. Counter here, but. They have to be so, so wary. Haunts is in trouble. He's got a flash available. Going to need to use it shortly. Can't when he's in the steadfast presence. Knocked up into the air. Celestial Expansion doesn't get a kill. Shout can flash over. Voice of Light gets the damage down. Looper uses the buckler. Manages to stay alive. Slowed down by Biofrost. Ignite is out. That's Team Solo mid's first kill. Sven Skerritt's running for his life. A level 7 double lift is being tagged by the stars. And Shao Hu wants to send them packing. A Akalik is interrupted by the cocoon knock up on mlxg second kill for tsm but it's a two for two in favor of royal never give up shao who's going to continue to back away and mata and uzi are low a lot of damage on that alta turret finally they back away rng playing on the knife's edge there and great response especially out of biofrost taking the bullet very flimsy they have the extra power they can just bully and brute force the extra objective down that would mean that the entire outer perimeter for tsm has collapsed uh, but they still have not quite, you know, removed their... Ooh. Looking for the play here. He's in Shao trouble. Hu gets the slow. Haunts is knocked back into the expansion. The star oh, is not backwards, but Uzi snipes him. That's his fourth kill of the game. Sven Scare is looking for more. Here comes Bjergsen with the round warp. Not bringing in too much support, though. Double lift might be able to help. Shao who's still running for his life. It could be a four on three. The cocoon catches Whoa. double lift. Biofrost joins. Glacial Fisher might get needed. The wall comes up. The unbreakable shield doesn't help. Double lift. He's in trouble. Flashes away with his life. Knocked up by the keeper's verdict. Double lift still trying to run taken down by the oh! oh the damage onto mlxg looper gets bjergsen but the cleanse is already tagged eat the chair looper he's rune prison in place under the tower looking to kill biofrost but bjergsen does it it's a three for three Ooh, very close even exchange right there as tsm do answer the pick and hotzer also has teleport but man no flash available, but no real threat onto him. The culling used to try and wave clear, but double lift is going to force to dash himself to safety. Tower number seven falls in favor of RNG. And one more time, the brute force is still there. No Baron buff, but they still want it. Yeah. Probably off their own. Yeah, very, very effective. Team Solo mid concede yet another turret. At what point do TSM say go? Maybe it's now. Biofrost is in trouble. He gets down the Fisher. Bjergsen and Hornsu on the side lane. They're interrupted. The hammer comes down. They've got to kill it to Mark. Show who's down. Show who's down. Royal, they're running. They're dead. They're taken out. And Team Solo mid, they turn on to Looper. Team Solo mid, ace. Royal, never give up. They pull the trigger. And TSM fight back. Is it last? 
stand of TSM. Poppy ultimate here for the zoning, and they push him off the turret again. It is fine. Nobody's knocked away, but it's not needed. It's just a zoning verdict. The tower falls. Brown's walk in from behind. Nobody takes the right except for Spence Garen, but he might be left out to dry. Forced to flash instantly. Cocoon onto Hornster blocks off any more damage. Spence running for his life. That's Hornster down. Oh, he was caught to the flank. This might be the last fight. Fire Frost is down. RNG looking for more. That's a triple kill. Bjergsen's running out. Uzi's looking for the Quadra. Uzi gets himself. No, that's a shutdown as MLXG picks it up. It's a five on one. Baron buff is available. The inhibitor's being dropped. Once that goes down, Royal never give up. Look to set their sights on the Nexus. Uzi gets himself the fourth. The Nexus is going down. And Team Solo mid. Their hopes, their dreams, they're done. Royal advance to Chicago. This is the largest salt mine in the world, right here in Goddard, Canada. It's something to be proud of. Uh, 26,000 tons per day from an underground mine is a lot of tons.